friends. Okay. Of course, there's a fuzz. Curse these cats and bunnies. Or maybe it's just a fuzz and I can't blame the critters. Find that hard to believe. Okay, look. It got up far enough that I could clip it all the way down. And the reason I did that instead of just leaving the fixing stuff on there is because I've got a super smooth surface again. I'm not running the risk, hopefully, you know, of having weak spots. And it'll just grow out from there. Okay, you guys. If you were in the live spins in Sassy Crew uh, on the 1st, so Sunday, I showed these that I got, whoop, that I got for Christmas. So I'm going to show them to you guys in case you weren't there. Okay, so they're made for, um, like, artificial nails or painting your nails. It's, you know, so that you can get the right shape, whatever that shape is that you want. So I had put them on my Christmas list because I thought maybe they will finally help me do, like, the deep V tips without using two pieces or um, the deep like French rounded almost ovally tips and also how fun are these these ones are square so that's super fun easy French smile cut so I would assume this is more like a deep smile anyway this is what I was looking for well, I mean all of them. As a whole, I was looking for them. Um, and then they also came with, let's see here, a couple little exactos. But I really suck with them, you guys. Sorry. I'm not good with them. I'm better with scissors, which is oddly enough because I'm always telling you guys my scissor skills are crap. Okay, so I took out some of these to play a bit. So there's the square cut one, which would look super fun. Um, here's one of the, this one, the roundy one. Super cute. I did these last night, so, I mean, they're still, they'd still work because I didn't take the plastic off. This one is the same as this one just it was my second try and the second try worked out better um and this one is just kind of the deep smile which i really like that one too and then also because the hang there's a stupid fuzz there um because it's fun i saved these little guys too which were you know what i uh cut out of these guys right so like this boop put them back together so there we go we're gonna play with those today I'm very excited um I know that um Melissa of Melissa's Manny's and more is also working on a technique for the deep smiles so Hopefully she'll come up with something too. Maybe she'll come up with something that doesn't require like a tool. I just loved that there was so many options in this little kit. So I was like, that's good. And I think it was like $13 to $15. And then you got a set of razors and then the two exactos. So, all right. So we're using Raise the Roof. And this is an Encoco Japan set called Funny Graduation. I believe yeah funny graduation isn't that fun it's like little confettis yellow and black I'm in and then starfall is my black black one and hopefully we're gonna do an extra fun art ring finger so um Dathan's birthday is Friday and then on Saturday I am going to a surprise party for um, my girlfriend Stephanie that I worked with, she turns 30 on Monday. Yeah. So, I've got two birthdays in a row, so I thought I should do birthday nails, you know, even if they're not, even if it's not like 
my own personal birthday nails, right? Oh, look, I had to take out green nips, you guys. You know, my yellow ones I was loving, and those were fresh and new also. Let me just say that. Um, Willow was doing a craft and needing some help, and I was trying to pull this little metal piece off of the backing of this little jewelry thing she was using. Uh, and I couldn't get it, like, with my fingers kept slipping. So I just grabbed my nips, not thinking. So stupid. Use the nips to pull it off, which it totally did. Okay, there was success. But it also put a perfect dent in my nips. So then when I would try to use them, oh, it had a perfect spot where it wouldn't cut. Dang it. I was so sad, because those were fresh and new and yellow but that's okay now we're on lime green which is also awesome uh i love razor Oof. i love it to me it is like ear confetti dreams and it's got bar confetti the long straight confetti on it uh and that is not something we see often I have not seen often at all they used it in oh what was it called one of the new year's sets ages ago like back first year kind of thing and then they also used it in creep it real which was a halloween set but other than that they don't get going on the bar glitter very often so when they got this one i made a little mini hoard of it because it's such a good you know, like celebration look. In my opinion, it is very celebration-y. So, I'm extra dang excited for my um, for doing my pointer fingers, to, or ring fingers tonight. If they work out, I mean, if they don't work out, it'll at least be some lessons learned for you guys, right? That's always the case. Hang on, I can see a little bit here. A little catch. Not anymore, I can't. We have had a redonkulous amount of snow today. Um, not like three feet and six feet and eight feet like places get. We've not in my life gotten that, that I remember. But we have gotten over a foot, which is quite a lot for us, really. Uh, especially the past few winters, we haven't gotten anything like that. I do remember getting snow like that once in a while when I was younger. But it's not like common occurrence, I guess, is the word I'm trying to think of or situation. Uh, so, Dathan was doing a ton of shoveling, and he, he does actually like to shovel. Hang on, I'm just trimming this little. There's a perfect bit of that gold bar glitter was sticking over the edge. He does like to shovel, but not so much, you know, feet. <laughs> feet of it <laughs> or foot of it as today's case may be um and so he came in and the cats had been out helping him use that term loosely um and they had come in and we were all like me and willow and the cats were cuddled up on the couch and Dathan said I have got to get my um, snow blower fixed if we're going to keep having snow like that. And I said, what's wrong with it? Take it to a small engine's repair. And he's like, it's not the engine. I said, well, then what is it? <laughs> like I'm supposed to know. And he said, I think it's a belt. So I said, and then take it to a small belt repair. <laughs> and Willow and I started cracking up. And he was just shaking his head. 
And so then Willow said, Tartar's collar is like a belt. Maybe he could fix it for you. I said, then if Tartar fixed it, it would be paw effect. And then Willow and I were really laughing and he was really shaking his head at us. And then she said, and once he got it perfect, it would be fixed forever. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, her and I, like I couldn't breathe. We were laughing so hard. We are super fans of a good run on puns. Um, anyway, so he said we were dicks and he walked out. <laughs> and he left, but we continued to laugh our faces off because it was hilario. I just did a bunch pushing my cuticles back and such, so I'm not worried that this one is a little hair above the cuticle because, or above the proximal nail fold because, um, you know, they like rise back up after you give them a good push in. That little sparse bit got a little too sparse called empty. He shoveled a bunch on the deck for the cats too and made them little paths. Oh my gosh, they are very, very happy. Very <laughs> happy. <laughs> they were running around in it. They've been out like, oh my gosh, maybe three or four times today. Um, out helping him shovel and just out running in it but it stayed nice it stayed like 30 all day so that's lovely I'm not sure if this is enough but I think it is I think it's like just enough yep gorgeous there's a little piece of glitter pink glitter sticking over make sure when you've got you know like a real chunky glitter or like these bar glitters that you use a nip on them you know if you see something hanging over because if you just pull it you know it'll just pull right out it'll just pull right out So, I shared, um, I think on the deep diving video, and then I shared it again in Sassy Crew, a super old, um, Color Street instructional video, like, on how to put nails on, right? And I don't, if you watch Melissa from Melissa's Mannies and More, you will see she's always stretching the strips and it makes me so nervous. Um, but something they did on there is for their curved, for a curved finger. Yeah, let me put that over there. For a curved finger, they took it in the middle and just stretched a little bit in the middle. Oh my God that how it's wrinkly there now so we'll see if that really does do the trick for my curvy pointer that always gives me wrinkles I'll link it below again so you guys can see it if you want
And I'll tell you in one second here if I think it helped. Oh gosh, I got everything everywhere. I've got my little warming mat on because I definitely needed it. I think it did help you guys. I don't see any wrinkles there now. So if you've got a curvy finger, maybe give it a try. I don't know. I mean, for the most part, I can warm up my flax bag and work all that stuff out. So don't worry a ton. But if it's something I can take care of easily without ripping my strips up, then I might as well try it, right? And it's not, you know what? If I rip this strip in half, it's not a big deal. I got more. But it's just, you know. And then I gotta open this set again. Oh, Lord. Why is this being such a pain? There we go. Beauty. Just gotta tuck a little piece in there. I can clean that up later too. Same with this one. Okay, I'll work on those. I'll work on cleaning that edge up later. And now I wonder if, instead of taking it off and stretching it in the middle, if I place it and then do the stretching while it's on. Yeah, can do it while it's on. I feel better doing it while it's on. <laughs> than before I get it on because when I do things before I get it on you know well especially I wouldn't want to do an overlay before I got it on or I'm going to fingerprint the crap out of it and I do not like that one bit ooh Valentine's Day sets are coming you guys but we're not far off now Tenth, right? I think, yeah. So six, seven, eight, Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. I love the heart overlay. I really like that little leopard one too. Um, I can't think what the name is, but I'm unsure if I love it in just the pink. I'm actually debating instead of ordering it to dupe it in like teal. Mm, that'd be pretty. Or something. I don't know. I'm unsure. I'm unsure where I'm at on that one. I'm trying this year. Hang on you guys. I am probably off camera but I'm just trying to clean this up. Um... I'm trying this year to order sets I know I love, right? Instead of, um, you know, just ordering them because it's the release. So, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> We're like five, six days into January. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> See if I make it a week. <laughs> like, I would rather get, only get the ones I really love, and then get a couple extras, you know? A couple extras of the ones I love, that is. Okay, so first of all, 
we're doing an underlay. I've been feeling the underlay. I haven't been doing them enough. I used to do them a ton, like probably almost with every single Manny, you guys, I would put an underlay. And I don't know if that's, that's not really a color street verified word, but you know, just take an overlay and put it as your base instead of your top. I mean, easy peasy, right? All right. Oh God, it's such a cute set. It's just so fun. It's great for a birthday because it's a celebration. Celebrate. Good times come on. You got a nice one little tricksy, tricksy, tricksy glitter I want to nip there. those tricky glitters that's just so cute like that oh so a sparkly party party on your fingers okay now this part should be fun so we took the thing off the plastic off and I think these strips are about the same I was hoping yes they are the same finger I wasn't a hundred percent sure like if this finger was in the accent but okay so then we're gonna flip them over this one's a bit more narrow at the tip but it won't matter and we're doing the ring so we got to find which of these makes us happiest I think that one the almost smallest makes me mm, yeah so that is this one and then I've got a very thin tip pen here and I hear you Tar but mom Tartar would gladly spend his entire day just running in and out. He loves it so much. Okay, and I don't worry that I put these at different places, and you'll see why here in a second. No, honey, you're not going out. Okay, so now... No, you're not going out. Doesn't he sound like he says, Mommy? Mommy, why are you doing this to me? Why do you hate me so? Why do you kill all my fun? I'm a fun killer, Tartar. I'm sorry. Okay. Whoop. Oh, yeah. That totally works so good. I think, anyway. Now, what I thought would be fun taking the black one well whichever it doesn't matter you guys I wonder if it might help if I lift this on here and then okay I don't know if I can lift this at all. Or if it's gonna be. Yeah, not really. It's okay. I'll do better on the next one. And I can budget a good bit with my little smusher. That does help a lot, you guys. Oh, it's the 
to my finger. Oh, I actually just like it as is, but I'm not done yet. It helps, this warming mat helps so much because things are nice and soft and they really accept you budging them around with this. Okay, now, <laughs> this is the fun part. <laughs> you guys haven't fun yet. This is what I think is going to be the fun part. First of all, though, I got to do this. I don't want to, you know, totally replace that spot. Like, I don't want to fill it in because then I lose my underlay. Which kind of sounds like I'm saying underlay. Underlay, underlay. I'm not. Now. No, I don't love that. Okay. That's okay, though, because I do love it as is, so I don't need to put that on. You guys understand what I was thinking of doing, right? Would I like it better with the black? Like, color on color? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Now let's put our yellow on this finger. And I will do better placement on this one. Yes, I will. And yes, I did. Perfect. Perfection. It's not very often I get to say that, is it? Give your side a little tug to get rid of any wrinkles. Oh my gourd, those are really fun. Oh, oh. And now also note that, well, hang on. Let's see what I want to trim. There we go. Okay that I could have put this up higher, right? Like if I wanted it thinner, um, I could have used a bigger size. If I wanted that wider, I could have went up higher and had the sides only come down to here. But I think that's kind of fun. So, now, thumbs. And, gosh, I probably could have used, I probably almost, we'll see almost get two thumbs out of one strip right now. So I nip a bit of the bottom off because I have very square nail beds. You know, you don't got to do that. If you don't have that same problem, don't do it. That's my rule. Only do it if you need to. <laughs> little baby nail oh my goodness you know what else these strips would work for what they make me think of is like a Charlie Brown inspired Manny makes me think a Charlie Brown shirt Short friend. Okay, now let's throw some 
more confetti on it. Marcy never gets enough confetti in her life. If she ever sends you anything, you better take cover because there's bound to be confetti you'll be finding in your freaking underwear for three months. Or more, probably. up without using the nipper but it's okay if it leaves a little confetti behind I'll go back and grab it oh last night hang on I gotta get closer to my face a sec guys last night Merce and I had our first uh, Facebook chat getting things planned for the spring ruckus, you guys. Yeah, it's not going to be long enough. It's not far off already. Can you even get your head around it? Um, normally, spring Spring release is the week of St. Patrick's Day, so March 17th week. Last year, they ended up having to push it out a week because they um, wound up releasing those, what are they called, like the sports sets, that collection. But hopefully this year they'll stay on track, do to do get on track no that was fall that they did the f sports stuff oh no I know what pushed it back last year for spring was because their release was really crappy and people complained right away and they wound up adding different sets to the release whoops That's what that was. Now I remember. Yeah. It's good though when that, you know, it's not good that that happens. But it's good when they know that we're not willing to just buy anything, you know. Um, we were talking in Sassy Crew about how the last, like, year or so just feels more like quantity over quality and that sucks but here we are I keep hoping they'll come back around and get their crap together I got faith you guys I might be alone in it <laughs> I might be the only one who has high expectations for the sub box and faith that they'll get themselves sorted out, but here I am. Yep, I just added more confetti to the confetti. You're right, I did. Definitely gonna nip this so I don't wreck any confetti. Oh, I'm so party ready now. Ready to party, ready to party. Making lasagna and garlic bread for Dathan's birthday dinner, which is basically his every year or pretty close to every year. And then, um, I think Willow's making chocolate chip cookies for him, which is another favorite. I 
kind of want something here. I just don't know what. Give me a second to think. Do I want to put a little gem there? Or I don't really want a gem there. It's like I want something there, but I don't want something there. I mean, I could put a decal there. I kind of don't want to do, I don't want to lose the negative space, but I also feel like I should be using the negative space. No, I won't. Yeah, okay, those are super fun. Love them. Okay, so all I have to do now is a little bit of, like, I can see some of those bigger glitters hanging off the edge. So I will nip, file, clean up a little. And then I'm going to OPI plumper on it. So, all right. There we go, guys. See you in a few days. Have a good one.